everybody and welcome to Roblox Top 5 and before we get started let's talk about our last video. Our last video did really really good. I didn't expect you guys to enjoy it at all but apparently you guys really enjoyed it and it made me really happy so thank you guys so much for that. So now let's go ahead and do what you guys have voted for. So what you guys have voted for was the top 5 horror games which I knew was going to be voted. So let's go ahead and get started on it and let's not waste any time so basically i'm not gonna be picking some horror games like um stop it slender and then before the dawn i'm not gonna pick those type of games because like i said people think that they're really scary but to be honest the things i have enlisted are like pretty more scarier than this than these two games so like these two games are really good just to put that out there it's really good but the games I have in list are worse. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started, and let's do the top five horror games. Man, I'm just scared now. Identifying Fraud by Team Motherboard. So this game is really freaky and really challenging. The game is simple. Basically, you're in a maze and your mission is to escape. There is three mazes in total. Some of them are really difficult to get past, like maze three. Maze two, who is pretty easy when you get to the final door. And then maze one, you have to find a button door. Basically, that's not all that, that's going to be your problem. Your problem is there is four creatures in this maze that will chase you and try to kill you. Some of them. But, the, but that's not what is scary about them. The most scary one is Stan. Stan is basically a creature that will pop up in the end of the halls and when you get too close he will basically back away. Sometimes he will pop up behind you and chase you and pretty much scream at you which scares the living crap out of players. He also goes through walls which makes situations even worse for the player. But basically yeah and the game is not as scary, but it is pretty freaky though. The reason why it's number 5 is because that stand's scare kind of gets pretty old, so you're really not going to be scared of him anymore, but throughout and all, this game is really good and it's pretty freaky and stuff when you're dealing with these creatures and stuff, but um, also there's also an Nintendo <laughs> 5 Fraud 2, so you should check that out as well. So check out both games, they're really amazing. And let's continue on. Rad 44 and Seder 44 by Paul00. This game is all about timing. Your mission is to get to the other side before the time runs out. When the time runs out, hide in the locker and wait for the time to reset. Once the time resets, you can get out of the locker and continue on exploring. If the time runs out before you get to the locker, then Seder 44 will pop up and kill you. While you're exploring, you might encounter Red 44, who will sit there until it sees you and it will chase you and try to kill you. This game is really, really epic and really awesome. And it's pretty freaky while playing it. Basically, you just have to avoid being killed by Seder 44 and then avoid Red 44 at all costs. The reason why this game is number four on the list is because usually you will get used to um, Seder 44 scare and Red 44 scare. So basically, it's not that big of a deal. Basically, you'll be fine and stuff, and it's not as scary as it can be. But basically, this game is pretty freaky, and it's kind of more scary than identifying fraud. But throughout and all, this game is really amazing. I highly suggest you play it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's move on. Roses by Michael Vander Finn. This game is one of the most best looking horror games out there. The story is, your friend Max, he 
hears about a film festival. He ventures out to explore and film in an abandoned insane asylum. After being gone for three days, you decide to go search for him. Through the exploration of asylum, you're met up with this creepy lady that will follow and basically mess with you throughout the game. Basically, the game is freaky with this creepy sound, and throughout and all, it's pretty freaky. The game is not as scary because it's still in beta, because chapter 2 has not been made yet. But throughout and all, this game is really, really amazing, and it's really, really cool. So, if I was you, I would watch out because you don't know when that girl is going to pop up. Lightbulb by Zekers. This game is a really creepy and scary game. Your mission is to listen to the phone calls to the guy that will give you information about the creature and what you need to do. Throughout your exploration, the creature will follow, stalk, and try to kill you. Throughout the, your adventure, you have to hide and avoid the creature of all cost. This game is really scary. And the only thing I have to say for you is you have two choices. Go with the light or go with the dark. Silent Dark by Zekers. This game is one of the scariest games around in Roblox. You are a guy. Listen to the radio. As the radio says that aliens have landed in Uger Lake. You don't believe it at first. You go to sleep and have nightmares. Nightmares getting worse. Then you're starting to realize it's starting to become true that what you're seeing is alive and real. You have to escape your dreams and confront the darkness before the darkness gets you. Confront the darkness. I hope you enjoyed that video of the top 5 by 5 horror games. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and tell me in the comments which one you think is more scary. scary, scary. That's all I have to say. Mr. Arctum out.